It is my honor, my privilege, and from the bottom of my heart to say thank you. Thank you for your work at the IDB. Thank you for your work on the MacArthur Foundation. You know how to raise the volume, and you also know how to use data to persuade policy people that it's not just about raising the volume, it's getting the job done. There is nobody else around who I think can't learn from you. You, no really, you, every time I have listened to you speak, there is, I learn one more thing, and I'm a data nerd, and I love that about you, Julie. So it is my privilege to give you for the 2015 Global Impact Award to Julie Katzman in recognition of your outstanding achievements to end violence against women and children globally. Julie, you deserve it. I love, we love what you do at the IDB. You are a remarkable woman. You are fighting for justice. You are fighting to end violence against women and children around the world. You are raising the volume. You do it with data, and we love you. Thank you, Julie Katzman. Well, OK, so now I'm actually quite embarrassed as well, because I don't honestly think I live up to all of that. But it was beautiful words. But I am honored to receive this award and to share it with my colleagues at the IDB who are in this audience and who have worked on these issues for their lifetimes and, and much longer than I have. Um, I, the work that we've been doing on gender equity as a whole and violence against women, I think over the last five years, has gained a greater focus and prominence in our work. We've engaged the entire bank to think creatively about how to incorporate these issues into their work in different ways. The word everybody uses is mainstreaming. Um, it's become kind of cliche, uh, but it really is what we're trying to do. So it's how to incorporate women into value chains, not only those of our clients and our countries, but of ourselves. How to engage women in non-traditional jobs and higher paying jobs whether that's driving giant forklifts or big mining machines, or whether it's fishing. How to increase women's labor force participation, and how to ensure that they get the better jobs, and many, many other ways. We're evaluating and measuring those interventions in ways that tell us what works and what doesn't, because at the end of the day, it's about how do we achieve scale. And importantly, we're working to increase the centrality of this issue, as I mentioned earlier, with non-traditional policymakers. So there are ministers, social ministers, and ministers of, of um, women in certain countries, and health, and, but at the end of the day, it's about the numbers and about the money, and that's ministers of finance. So we tell the story about why women not being fully employed and optimally employed is a waste of a national resource. And in a part of the world where growth is the ultimate goal and need at the moment, that's an argument that is pretty persuasive. I can only say that this award will serve as added motivation and inspiration to the work that we do every day. And I hope that I and we live up to it and the beautiful words that Esther had to say. So thank you very much.